Hey everyone, um, it's Melody. I'm here with another card process video. Uh, today I'll be making a card on this corrugated cardboard um, base. It's gonna be a birthday card. So um, I've pretty much pre-cut everything that I think I will need. So it's pretty much just going to be a uh, process video of how I put everything together. Um, I already stamped out and colored in this little image here, it's the bunny and the balloons from the Mama Elephant Up and Away set. It's my first time using them, finally. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. They um, actually stamp out really well. They're really cute. Um, and then I use my distress markers to kind of watercolor in the image and the balloons. So really fun. So um, that's the image that I will be using for the front of the card today. <clears throat> Um, the paper is actually from one of the new um, paper stacks that I got from Michaels. It's the Dear Lizzie one that came in that hot buy stack. Um, and then um, <coughs> Erica, who is Marcy Crafty Mama here on YouTube, had um, asked about the paper or talked about the paper. Um, and Erica, these are not um, really thin or flimsy by any means. They're actually pretty good. Quality. I was pretty impressed. So um, if that was your hesitation in buying them, I would go ahead and definitely buy them. They're not like those, you know, those stacks at Michael that are like 170 or 180 sheets of paper and they're really, really thin. These are actually pretty good. They've got a pretty good um, weight to them. So I'll be using some papers here and I guess we'll just get started. Um, I'm going to move this aside for now. I'm going to just start on the base here, I think. I'm going to adhere this little dark piece. It just, this is also from the same Dear Lizzie line. And I'm going to adhere it right there. I think I'm going to use my big old ATG for this. <coughs> I have a cough still that just will not go away. But I'm feeling much better. So thank you to everyone who was um, wishing me... Well, it's very nice of you guys. So I do feel much, much better. I, I mean, I'm, I'm all good now. I just, this cough will go away. <laughs> so I guess I didn't need to turn that. I don't know why I did. Um, so I cut the square piece into a five by five. Adhere this. Oh, that seems good enough. I'm gonna cut off the excess. It's Saturday when I'm filming this. I don't know when I'll actually have this video up, but it's Saturday and it's kind of early in the morning. I couldn't sleep very well last night, so I woke up really early. So I just thought I wouldn't. <clears throat> go ahead and make this birthday card because I've been meaning to so um, Okay, so we've got that adhered I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this now and I think I'm gonna use um, some foam adhesive for that so I think this will do Hope everyone's having a really good weekend it's getting hot here, um, so summer's definitely on its way. I was thinking about going out and checking out um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby today, but <clears throat> I decided I, well, first of all, I pretty much went last week and <laughs> I don't need to go again. Um, but I, there's like nothing I really want to buy anymore except stamps, which I always say, but it's the truth. <laughs> so um, I just decided I won't go. So 
sorry that sometimes this, the, the process of me putting on the adhesive takes longer than like anything else in the video. <clears throat> get all the backs of these off. I kind of just have a general idea of what I want to do with this card. General placement of things. I don't really know what else I'm going to be doing though. I didn't know if I want to do sequins or gems or... So we'll just see what happens when we kind of start putting it together. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, I did round the corners on this little piece of um, paper that I <coughs> uh, put this image on. I'm actually going to do this kind of like so, I think. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> there we go. So we got that going for us so far, which is pretty cool. I've got this little doodad here. It's a little banner. From the, um, the sentiment's from the same stamp, stamp set. Um, just so that it's popped up a little bit. From the image here, I um, did dash lines around it. I think I'm actually going to put that up on Pop Dots too. I think that would be the best option. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive just in that corner because it's going to lie flat on top of that. So hopefully this works out. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> so we got that going for us so far. I think that's okay. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do now is adhere this, I think, to the card base now. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do it with my ATG. Oops, a daisy. And hopefully this is sticky enough. Sometimes when I go on the corrugated, I like to go with something a little bit stickier. So, hot glue, glossy accent, something like that. But I will try with just my ATG. Which side do I want to go on? I think I'll go on that side. There we go. Nice. <coughs> I didn't mind using the um, Studio G foam adhesive because this is going to be um, delivered um, in person. So it's it's very thick. So that's why um, I'm going to be using this little bling border that I pick up at Hobby Lobby. And I want to go around and make a nice little border on this. So. It makes it look so darn cute, but the packs of these little bling borders are, I mean, when I get them, you know, when the sale goes on, I can get them for a pack like this for, I think, like $2.50 or something, but pretty much I'm using like one whole pack on a card, um, so, you know, it just kind of adds up, so I don't add it all the time. 
Um, they have really similar, <clears throat> it's a similar sort of idea with pearls too, which I absolutely love. They're really pretty as well. Um, and I think I've used the pearls on a mini card. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that and then cut it off. It off there. Lovely. Will this fit here? Even lovelier. It kind of becomes like a game of Tetris of where <laughs> all the pieces will end up fitting, you know, because <clears throat> it's not the exact length. So you kind of have to cut and measure as you go. I really hope this video is not like three hours long. Oh, it's at like 11 minutes. Wow. Surprise! I'm almost done though, so thanks for hanging in there with me, everyone. Awesome, awesome. Oops, a little slanted. That tends to happen to me. <laughs> so, there we go. Not too bad. <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave it like that. Not too bad. I've got some bling and some gems. Not really sure if I want to use either. Kind of like the way it looks without. I think I'm going to leave it. Maybe add a little bit of Linka Stella clear glitter. And I think my clear is starting to run out. Here we go. Oops, little hair. There we go. There we go. So nice little glitter there. And a little bit of glitter for the bunny's belly. Cute. <clears throat> and that is the card. Um, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you liked watching the video and I will talk to you later. Bye.